been so long I've forgotten how to do it. This is obviously recording and you think this is going to be funny. Is that, is that it? Welcome to the Keep It Tottenham podcast. Here's a bit of music. <laughs> You're the dickhead, not bad. What can I do for you? I'm, uh, can I introduce you please to a lump of cheddar cheese? <laughs> oh no, oh no. Right, quick question. Three lines on. Are... Yeah, let's not do that. Quick question, which is the best England song? And you can only pick one. Three lines on yeah. the shirt. No, you're wrong, you're an idiot. It's Vindaloo. I knew you'd say that. Mm. I, d- I do still have a bit of a thing for the New Order one. Yeah, but you, you that's the last vestiges of you being a student. Is it? Yeah. yeah you got a Morrissey bobble hat. I have got a Morrissey the signs, bobble hat. The signs are all there. I would sleep in that Morrissey bobble hat if it didn't give me a hot head. What kind people of... are switching off in their droves. There weren't, <laughs> many, there weren't many to start with. Well, they, they can't they can't see us either. I'm, I think, I'm sure they're very disappointed not to be seeing the big hairy one. Yeah, but you can't you can't be seen for legal reasons. That's very true. That's very true. We just don't want the SAS men suddenly hup, 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 down the side of the building. I worry about you. <laughs> that's a, that's sort of a reference to the Blues Brothers, but it wasn't the SAS. Anyway, moving on. Mm. I've been doing a really successful YouTube's. You have. You have. People like you. How did that happen? Not everybody likes me. I've been savaged by a hermaphrodite and a Greek. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, but those Greeks have got like big muscly wide shoulders and do naked wrestling, don't they? Yeah, they also normally have much better senses of humour. Senses. 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 Senses of humour. Do they? Yeah, I obviously got a moody one. When I was uh, 18 on holiday in Greece, oh, yeah. I realised now, looking back, oh, yeah. in the old drachma, I got charged £5 for a can of Coke. I got charged I got charged $5 for a hot dog in Maxim's in Hong Kong. <laughs> and that was $5, you could put a, house, a deposit on a house with that. <laughs> Yeah, you know, at the foot of the Connaught Centre, it was a, at the time it was Hong Kong's tallest building. Uh-huh. I've been dragging my parents. My dad was in the army. For those of you joining us late, and um, I was begging them to go into two places in Hong Kong. Now, bear in mind, I was probably about seven or eight or something like this. Right. And um, eventually, one of the places I asked to go to, which was which was the Maxim's restaurant in the the it was in the basement of the Connaught Centre, the Connaught Building or whatever it was. Uh-huh. I remember my dad having an absolute heart attack at the price of everything. Because everything was... It was it, Your dad had a heart attack at the price of everything anyway. Yeah, 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 exactly. But uh, the other place I was asking to go into was called the Pussycat Club. Interesting. Yeah, and that was triple X rated um, go-go bar. <laughs> and they conceded. Um, and it probably would have been cheaper in hindsight to take me into the first place. But uh, there you go. Oh, dear. Anyway, what what are we talking about? I think there might be a game on today. Yeah, we're we're all England. Um, I think we're all England, especially for the people that really want England to lose. So there's especially lots of Celts watching, um, hoping for the Italians to trip England up. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I think England have been been improving enormously with every game. Right. But they played some really ropey people to start off with and I think some people have lost sight of how ropey some of the op- the opponents were so whether we can I mean I've got several friends of mine who've had money on Italy since the beginning oh really yeah yeah um, but whether they still have any of that money come bed bed night nights tonight who knows <laughs> <laughs> well I'm celebrating with a pizza in any case happy days yeah I'll give them a shout out shall I Mr Sings Vegetarian and vegan pizzas. Have they paid us? Of the uh, various of the West Midlands. Get them on a super chat. You've got one in London. Get as them well. on a super chat. Super chat. Sell, them, <laughs> sell them some stickers. They make real things Christ. that you pay for and enjoy. 
Yeah, I think that's the only only form of um, buying and selling that I approve of is tangible well, goods. Pizza. Yeah, pizza. But no, if you get something through the post afterwards and you sort of say, well, there's where my money went. Or if you give the money to a donkey sanctuary, you can see that <laughs> donkey's still going or they've screwed an extra leg on it or something. Do you know what I mean? That you actually could, there's something visible there. Do donkeys need extra legs? Yeah, because otherwise you get wonky donkeys. <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs> Right then, what are we doing now? What's next? What's next? What's up? Snog, What's up, man? Snug, marry or avoid? Eee. <laughs> what, with footballers? With our squad. With our squad? Our, our Tottenham, Tottingham. Yes, love. The Tottinghams? Yeah. Did, is this like a, an analogy and you don't have to actually do snog, marry or avoid? Well, you can if you want. But Snog is, is, is keep as a squad player, and uh, I kind of rhyme. Marry is keep, and um, avoid is to sell. I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah. Ah. I mean, hopefully it's designed so even squad, a stupid person could get it. Squad keeps, squad or, or keeps squad, sell isn't squad, quite as easy to say, is it? Squad marry, squad avoid. avoid. Squad marry, avoid. There you go. <laughs> yeah, but I might want to keep somebody in the squad, but not marry them. Well, that's why there's three choices. What's also, wrong with like, you? can only marry one person. It's illegal to marry more than one. Yeah, but you're only marrying each person once. <laughs> oh, it's a, a, a serial monogamy. Yeah. <laughs> as long as everybody's open with each other and healthy and happy. Uh, who's starting with then? You're making this hard work. <laughs> Have I tried, are you about to fall into a coma? No, not at all. I've had about ten cups of coffee this morning. Did you? Take, what did you do with them? Took the dog out for a walk. Yeah. I've had my oats. Fantastic. Well, come on then. Who's first? Who do you want to go with? Well, what about the list in front of you? Have I got a list in front of me? <laughs> Ugo. Right. Do you want to keep him? Throw him away? Set fire to him? What do you want to do? I'd do the snog bit. Um, Hugo Lloris. World Cup winner, you know. Yeah. About ten years ago, I'd keep him actually in the squad. Do you think he wouldn't want to retire to some vineyard somewhere and play for their? How old is play? he? Forty-eight. <laughs> I don't know. He's not I mean, goalkeepers. Like no, you. no, no. Goalkeepers don't get old, do they? They get better, and then they sort of just snuff it while no one's looking. <laughs> I know. Keep him. He knows his stuff. Joe Hart. What are you doing though with Hugo Lloris? I'm, I'm, I'm just answer, asking the questions. Oh yeah. Oh okay. You're. Asking, I'm obeying orders. Oh, I'm not asking questions anymore. You are. No, well, I was just trying to speed things up because at the moment they were they were wiring who's, you up and checking your pulse. Because ECG, is the line on the ECG was a bit flat. Joe Hart keep because he's a is a is a fella. And he's a winner. He's a one. He's a winner. You want him about. Yeah, I think it's cheap as chips, and I keep them about. But I'm just a bit concerned that. And he'll, you know, it'll be keeping all the lads away from the dandruff. What's the succession policy at Spurs for goalkeepers? Because we've thrown away Gazaniga. Mm. He had nice eyes. They weren't real. <laughs> the glass. I don't know. That, I just. That told, I was just a told told by a top t- <laughs> top table source that they weren't real. <laughs> Eric Dyer. Take round the back and shoot. I agree with selling him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I the problem with Eric Dyer is I don't think he's he he and will come on to Winks at some point, um, but he has been at the club forever, and he is definitely one of the players that I've run out of total patience with. Yeah, can I see agree. no no possible future uplift, no um, sunny uplands. Nothing positive. He and he he's developed also. Who would want him? Nobody in their right mind. Mm, and he's tell you what problem, he's done. He's developed footballers that don't fulfil themselves. And it was curiously enough, I was reminded of this You've because got to fulfil yourself and others on a good night. But Shevchenko, he really struggled at Chelsea. You know mm-hmm. the, the strike. He didn't work. It was like, I do the one with the bottom. Yeah, and he, it was like he had a bit of a problem. Like there was a defect at the factory, and the further he got <laughs> away from wherever he came from, Ukraine or wherever, yeah. the weaker the signal was, and mm. it didn't work. And he developed this habit of fouling people. 
and he was pretty good at it. I mean, mm. he, he was, you know. Um, but players develop these little things that to compensate for when things aren't going well. Mm. And Eric Dyer has started scowling and accusing other people. And I just find that for a defender unforgivable. And his his decision making is shocking. The amount of times he's got his his body towards the goal, his body ought to be towards the attacking player. And I just think he's he's lost the plot. Okay, so that's Eric Dyer, plot lost, Sal. Serge Ariel. Serge Aurio. I think he is a lovely kid. And I think he's heavily misunderstood. I think he's a bit of a fruitcake. Mm-hmm. And he should have been shown a lot more love and we could have probably got a bit more out of him. Yes, there was all the fiasco with the red cards and the throw-ins. But I think essentially he's a, he's a decent guy who can do crazy stuff and win games for you. Um, so from that respect, I would keep him. But I think his heart's not in it. I think he's got bored with Tottenham. I think his attention span's gone. And I wish him well. Yeah, me too. Um, I'm not sure who Davinson Danchez is, but... Um, oh, that's probably t- uh, <laughs> the brother-in-law of Terry Ipo. <laughs> Pedant. Yes. Yes. Okay, well, my San- green ink count. Well, San- 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 Sanchez is, has been a complete... Oh, that's a flop. I don't even remember. What's he look like? Is that... Well, what, you've got to be careful how you describe people. <laughs> he is a tall gentleman of colour. Yeah, I don't remember the last time he played. Well, that's because... He struggled. I mean, anybody playing with Eric Dyer, their, their game was worse. He was a little bit improved with Toby. But just, just you know, it just hasn't worked. But we've sunk so much money into him. That's the problem. So we're not... We'd, pro- we'd want to sell him, but it's probably not going to get sold. Well, this is the same with a lot of these characters. They've been around for so long that... Now in a flat market, you've got what well, what Levy has achieved in footballing terms is negative equity, which is a, which is which is really it's astonishing. Quite, when you work for an investment company, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jaffet Tenganga. I think he's aces, and um, I just want to mother him. Yeah, that's probably he's got that um, Forest Whitaker look about yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they take your dinner money again, love? But no, I think I think he's I think he's great, and I'd, I'd I'd keep him around for a long time. I think his heart's in the right place, and if I was being really cynical, I'd say run, run Forest, run, and yeah. get out get out of Tottenham and join a, a real football club because I think there's a superstar in there. Genuinely, oh dear, yeah, yeah, genuinely do, yeah, absolute out and out superstar. Don't think he's far from it. I think a couple of years, I just fear for his being trained at Tottenham because we don't produce good players. And that's a fact. There'll be people listening to this whining and saying, oh, what about... It's just rubbish. Just making it up. Well, I wish Jeff it well and I want to keep him because I'm a selfish Spurs fan. Hmm. Moving on to the Ben Davies. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he he's like going to outlive us all, isn't he? <laughs> Here forever. Well, I'll be honest with you. I won't tell you a lie. You know, that's what you're going to get. You know, he'll be wandering around doing Anthony Hopkins impressions. Um, but no, I, nothing wrong with him. Good squad player, which is da- damning with faint praise. Um, but um, faint praise. What did I say? Frank praise. Yeah, I was being frank. I was forthright <laughs> with my praise. <laughs> You're chasing the wrong ambulance here. Am I? Yeah. So yeah, I just think yeah, a bit of a meh. But what do you do? That's what he is. Aye. Keep, so we're 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 keeping. Yeah. Matt Doherty. 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 Well, he's yeah. Irish, so it's Doherty, but don't worry about it. Is he Irish? Well, allegedly. I don't think they want him back. <laughs> Curious thing with him, there was a, there was an interview with him on the, um, the club website today. Fascinating. Now, but, yeah, yeah, beyond fascinating. Hopefully it comes out in a... In a I'm glad aud- you have to do this stuff, not me. Yeah, glad it comes out. Hopefully it comes out in an audio book form. <laughs> but... Um, because I'm running out of Charles Parrish murder mysteries and they do help me um, to get off at night. I mean, asleep. You know. uh, but yeah, he is, um, uh, he's a worry, that boy. He's a danger. So he's being reunited with Uno Nuno from Wolves. Yeah. And that interview, he the closest we got to any sort of electricity was, oh, well, obviously, you know, um, great to see you and a few familiar faces. 
I'm expecting more of the same from that guy. The, the whole of the introing of our new manager has been super embarrassing. Did you see that video? I, I, I couldn't. I was just too. No, I, I can't. I can't. I did it on the. I'm on just the, embarrassed. I did it on the daily. I did it on the daily brief. First of all, they had it when they when they interviewed him. It was done with this faux social distancing rubbish, which apart from everybody's being is now thoroughly tired of. Mm. But there, I think people are especially tired of it being made a point of doing it for the cameras. Oh, it's another form of virtue signaling. Yeah, it's total virtue signaling. Look at us. We can't, we're can't. we not responsible for the death of your Aunt Dolly. You know, that's the other people that have been, you know, that haven't been compliant. And we're being over-compliant. But they, but they introduced him by re- getting him to read off of um, Enoch Q cards um, and talking about the blessed... Uh, Tottenham DNA um, and then the clip of him arriving at the club do you know what DNA means in my uh, real world work yeah do not attempt did not attempt or something did, isn't it? did not attend yeah that sort of sums Levy up yeah, I'm, I'm, I've bigger fish to fry um, I'll let you go on with that but um, yeah they had him coming in out of the car park and he's putting his mask on he comes in and it's one of those videos that you're almost expecting it like to be sort of one of those YouTube blooper things. Mm. And um, yeah, he comes in, he says hello to one security guard and good morning to another. And then he goes off to... And like I said on the daily briefing, they should have had somebody there to say hello to him. It's, yeah, How it's are you? Did you? Hi, hello, Nuna. Have, 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 you, have you brought your sandwiches? Have you, you know, have you got, have you got oh, clean man. underpants in your, in your bag? All this, just to lighten the mood. But it, this is a guy who's come in. Um, after 73 days or whatever it was of um, goose chasing, shadow boxing. Mm. And they bring this guy in and it's more or less him, him fighting his way past the, the bins round the back and banging, oh. banging on a fire door. It's embarrassing, painfully. Moving on. Sergio Reguillon. Reguillon. Reggie I, I worry about because he was really good when we first got him and then he was less good. Mm, I agree. So what does that tell you? That tells you that his focus, his oomph, his desire, the fire beneath him, managed to almost be self-extinguished by by arriving at Tottenham. Mm. Yeah, we do that. We're good at that. <laughs> Just, uh, and he, he, he was amazing in so many games at the beginning. Yeah. I just thought he was ace. And he went massively off the boil. And the thing is, I think there's a... Uh, what sort of a contract has he got? don't know. Somebody out there knows. It's probably a three-year deal. Was he only... Oh, I thought maybe he was only on like a year with us or something. No, no, it was longer than that. I'd still like to keep him. I'd like to keep him, but I'd like to... What I'd like to do is... is, is like I do, Set a fire like, under him. Yeah, you know, it's, it's precisely... It's dragging him off to a, into a side room. I'm not talking about waterboarding the kid. But <gasps> sitting and, and putting the overhead light on and saying, right, why are we all here? Because I think a lot of these guys... And what worries me is a culture of the club and uh, the Death Star that is Levy, <laughs> and and the satellite, the Death Star that is is um, uh, Cullen, it drags everybody in at the same pace, and so you have got the Harry Winks and their Dyer's joined it, and everybody's moving in this sort of you know suspended animation mm. of we will be here for the next eight to ten years, mm. and it's just like it's conveyor belt to Valhalla. It's horrible, and I just get the feeling that Surge has or Sergio has has sort of come part of that yeah. and he's gone into this just sort of thing of inertia yeah yeah because he was an exciting player and, and now he's less exciting well, let's see what happens well done to him Toby Alderweireld I think he's gone and I think good riddance he, he held on a bit too long he probably should have gone when for Tongan did he played up under Poch and he played up under Jose and that for me undermines all of the good that he's done previously. I don't hate him. Mm. I don't hate him. I think he's still a decent footballer and he'll put a good shift in in a lower league, but it really is time to just forget all the the, uh, the cosmetic stuff and the glad handing and the how's it going, big man, and all the rest of it, and just get rid of him and bring someone else in. Joe Roden. Joe Roden, I think, um, is um, possibly quite a good defender. Um, I think he is. The dog's having a bit of a huff. Hello, huff and puff. Yeah. He's coming up to lie down in front of the open window. But um, I just think that um, again, what's what's up with the training? 
Mm. And how are we improving this young player that's come, taking a step up from the championship? Yeah. It doesn't. Look it looks to... like his work is working. He's giving it a good go. Well, the other thing, the other thing which I have to say, because I, if I don't mention um, Ryan Mason's name every forty-eight hours, you know, I have to put a co- another coin in the box. But, but that competition winner, winner of a manager, um, just simply didn't bother to even play him. No, no. Death's come to John. What do you think, Bernie? Never. Right. Ryan Signor. Well, Cessignol has been brought back and um, anybody who is a Cessignol fan will tell you that he's been amazing. I haven't seen it and I'll be fascinated to see it. No agenda, I just want reality opposed to hype. I don't get him, so I don't get it. Well, they spent, they spent four years buying him, Tottenham. Scouted him forever. Him, him and his younger brother. Yeah. I was told that they fell in love with the character and the good naturedness of him and his brother mm. said good family the whole thing and they bought into it enormously mm. and then spent forever and managed to even though they waited so long they managed to then overpay because they were virtually bidding against somebody you know when an auctioneer is taking bids off the wall yeah, yeah, yeah. right so <laughs> there was nobody else really in for him but there was kind of interest in him so there was no way that fulham were going to let him go for 25 quid and they spent 25 million on him and I don't see that... I, I'd be shocked. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't th- see how we're ever going to get the money back. And there's another guy on the list as well that I'll throw into the same thing as that. Yeah, that's the fiver for a can of Coke, isn't it? Yeah. Eric Lamella, he of the hips. Eric Lamella, I was talking with, with my top, tip-top IT Kai. IT Kai? IT Kai game. Because that's what I have to do, you see, to give everything right, shtum. <laughs> um, and he didn't cost us very much money. Oh. Now, he was a record signing in respect of when you stick all the add-ons on, which is what everybody mm. inevitably does. But the reality is, he never triggered any of those bloody things. <laughs> so, in truth, he's probably cost somewhere in the region. Now, I know he's been with us for, what, eight seasons? Or this is his eighth. Well, about probably about between 12 and 14 million quid. Right. So, as, as a Levy spreadsheet buy, no. this hasn't hasn't actually been a massive waste of time even though he spent a year in south america playing ps4 and don't forget his dog died i mean none of us none of us mortals have to deal with stuff don't that listen happens. don't listen to something for the pooch he doesn't care about that sort of thing he wants to kill everything <laughs> I know he does. <laughs> to him he sees a corpse he thinks that's the one less for me to have to worry about musa sissoko yeah, the man that went to the Euros um, in order to provide 10-minute cameos for his country. <clears throat> Sal, eh? Sal? Well, he's, he, he was linked with a move to Syria A, and um, he want, it, 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 I can't remember which club it was, and they just said that he and Tottenham wanted preposterous amounts of money. Of course they do. Of course they do. Skippy. Oliver Skip. I have lots of time for Skip. I think he's gone down a very similar path to Harry Kane in the fact that he's a self-made man. Mm-hmm. And um, I think he's come out of himself and he's a bit more of a um, bit more of a puncher than he was. Yeah. A bit more of a fighter. And I love that. In an ideal world in which we none of us live, I would have kept him at Norwich for another season to see him play with his teammates in the Premier League in order to see the whole thing come and then suddenly you can go, well, do you know what? Don't tell anybody, but this guy's now worth X tens of million. Right, right, right. So I hope he sinks and doesn't swim at Spurs. And I mean that because of Spurs and not because suddenly the wheels fall off of the Oliver Skip project. I think I think Skippy is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a solid, decent kid from what I see. Excellent. Love that. Love that sort of story when it works out. Cameron... Carker Vickers, apparently. And he's paper knickers. Hey! Um, he is another one that the fans have hyped to within an inch of their lives, mm. uh, along with Cessignor. And I would, I would be, again, delighted to see a fraction of it come true, but I don't think it will. Okay. Don't see anything there at all. Nothing. So? Give away. Oh. Lucas Mora. 
The problem is that we've got too many millennials in the fan base. Oh, sorry, I just wake up shouting that out in the night and now it's it slipped into my reality conscious. Um, and it worried me when I saw all the pictures of the England players and they were on inflatable unicorn things in a swimming pool. And all of this high-fiving and hail, hail, we're doing really well and um, yeah, yeah, waiter, more ice for everybody. Mm. I find this really uncomfortable when you haven't actually won anything. anything. And if you want to drive around, you know, it's like that clown, um, a a boomerang that plays for Arsenal and he drives around in like a um, gold-wrapped Ferrari or whatever it is. Right. That's fine, but you've only ever won an FA Cup, mate. Order the decent champagne when you do something, then when there's a reason for ordering it. It makes me cringe. Celebrating for celebrating's sake. And too many of our fan base are still, you know, watching that Ajax uh, game compilation of his goals and and cooing, where we actually achieved nothing because we went through into the final, which more people watched, and we lost... We did. And we got humiliated. Badly. We were humiliated in front of More millions, millions of people beamed across the planet. Yeah. Yeah. So more is, it typifies for me the this celebration of, of and the acceptance of, of failure. So. Yeah. Pierre Huyberg. <coughs> Excuse me. I think Pierre Huyberg's um, value has probably tripled combined with what he did for Spurs since we I bought him. I love him. Since combined with what he's done for he's Spurs a and what Viking, he, and I love him. And what he's done for Denmark. He's he had a, amazing. He had a really good Euros. Um, I had a. I was telling people that, that I thought weren't probably capable of beating me up. That they Denmark were going to beat England. Mm-hmm. Because I thought the Danes had more about them than um, England had at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, England have improved, and Denmark obviously have left left the building. But I thought he had a great tournament. Um, I, I think he'll go from strength to strength. But my fear is when I was composing this list, or rather cutting and pasting names and typoing names on there, I look around our midfield and who's who's there for him. I know. I know. Who be, is there be, for him? Must be very lonely when when you're the likes of of Kane and Hoiberg and. Well, that's the difference between elite level players and punters. Well, yes. <laughs> Deli Ali. Get rid. Harry Winks. Get rid. Stephen Bergvine. Bergvine, I feel very sorry for. Um, I've discussed Bergvine at length on this and uh, elsewhere. Great kid, great family, um, no two ways about it. God loves a trier. God must really care for him because I think he tries a lot. (laughs) But I think Tottenham is not the right club for him. And it breaks my heart to say that because he's precisely the sort of guy I'd like to see play for Spurs. Mm. Um, But um, what's done is done. And... Again, I think we've paid too much money for him in order to sell him back. I mean, there was, there was talk of um, PSV being interested in him. <laughs> yeah, right. OK, so we could have bought him from our neighbours, but instead we're going to watch him go to a Premier League club. So the price automatically goes ka-jink, 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 ka-jink. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna pay out for a guy we could have got for maybe 40% less. Yeah, it's yeah, not going to yeah. happen. No, no, no. Giovanni Lo Celso. Well, Lo Celso has just technically won the um, Copa America. Oh, okay. He, yeah, he played. He, they played big Colombia last night on goal on penalties. <laughs> on on goal, goals. On goals. <laughs> you know your football. You can ask me anything about football. I know, I've got all the answers. How do you spell it? They won by goals, <laughs> and uh, prove otherwise. But no, they they won that. So that's that's nice to have. But he, but worryingly, he's not played a full game for Argentina. Um, in the last stretch of things. No, he says, played so for an hour. So I'm just worried how fit he is. Played for an hour, but... His passing accuracy was 93%. 97. 97, yeah. 97. Yeah. Um, and only lost possession once in his own half. Which is... Good boy. For his, for his position, he plays on the park. That is exactly 
what just to give people out there who the eyes start to drift slowly when you're talking about stats or recording a show with me, of well, course. Yeah. I'll, Seriously, I'll stretch I, and wake up. Yeah, hey. yeah lovely. That's great because we're just coming <laughs> to a close. If you'd have done that forty minutes ago, we all could have got out of here sooner. But that's that's what Deli Alley should be producing. None of this cobblers. Oh, he does a lot of running off the ball. Oh yeah, but he loves his mum. All this rubbish. Oh, but he likes arrows, not minstrels. <laughs> Nobody cares. It takes two minutes. Just to go away. In a microwave. Just go away. Tanga and Dombele. Dombele. This is what we call, in the real world where grown-ups live, due diligence. Mm-hmm. So it's like if you buy a car off a bloke from outside his house, right, and it's parked up on the verge with a bit of cardboard in the window, do not be surprised when you find torn-up Chinese phone books in the um, gearbox. <laughs> yeah? Or st- something starts growing out the back of the, uh, the boot. So we didn't do due diligence. Two previous coaches acknowledged that he had problems with his weight and staying fit and staying focused. Mm, shame. A shame because there's an absolutely mega star of a footballer in there, but Tottenham didn't do their due diligence. That's all I can. That's all I can say. Sonny. Sonny is fantastic, and I just don't think we deserve him. So there'll be Agreed. several opportunities during this show for real Tottenham fans proper fans not like this oaf to slam the, the season ticket holders t- yeah yeah know it alls to slam on the, the brakes and hit the stop button because I can't get behind the team I can't get behind idiots and I'm ashamed I mean Sonny came out the other week he is the poster boy for football Everybody loves him. Mm. Nobody dislikes him, although he has hospitalised a couple of players, which does get swept under the carpet somewhat. Mm. But the guy's such a great kid, and he's 29, and as a Tottenham fan, I should be saying he lacks ambition. Because he's come out and said, oh, you know, my focus is on Tottenham, and I want to win things with them, and blah, blah, blah. We're very, very, very fortunate to have him. We are incredibly fortunate. He's, he's, an, he's an incredible character. Bless incredible, his incredible talent. There isn't a box that he doesn't tick, and I mean that in a nice way. Yeah. Um, and his shirt sell three to one of everybody else's at the club. I've been told. Ah. Uh. You know, and he's just he's just he's just an absolute blessing. But I think we're extremely fortunate to have him. Talking of being fortunate and blessings, mm. our final. Yeah, we're running out fella. of players here. Harry Kane. Kane Inio. Um mixed, mixed stories doing the rounds. Um, mixed stories doing the rounds. Um, Do you mean people are making things up? Yeah, 100%. You wouldn't believe it, would you? Shocker. Um, but remember, it's only a pound and they only owe 140 million quid. And you have to judge things as you, you know, in, in individual circumstances. It mustn't tire everybody with the same <laughs> brush. He has a brother and a father that have got Swish Central London offices mm-hmm. and they only represent one client. Mm-hmm. So I would normally at that point say, well, you work it out because you don't need all that to, to do a deal with Adidas or some earphones or a, 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 Beats. a, yeah, or a jar of um, eyelash tint or whatever. You can do, <laughs> you can do all this stuff on a, on a mobile phone. You know, it doesn't... It, yeah, exactly. Let's endorse a product that we don't use because we're growing a beard. That was in priceless. <laughs> but but the, but the prob- the problem with Kane is that now people are saying because people the problem is the press have to fill the void. I have the luxury of not having to pump out um, X number of articles a day. Mm-hmm. I don't have somebody saying to me, "Well, I paid you forty million, sorry, forty thousand, so you're going to produce." Uh, 18,000 words a week yeah which is what some people out there are, are up against right and so when Kane doesn't get sold or rather the de- deal doesn't progress they then say oh yeah well that's that's Charlie's brother he's made an absolute hash of it they played their hand too soon mm. and the club aren't happy who gives a bleep about the club 
Kane deserves to win. He does. And you can see the reaction he's had to the Euros. With more than just England. With this business of getting his hand on, on, on some proper silverware, this is where a grown man of his stature ought to be winning stuff. Mm. And I'm not talking about any of these golden boots or um, just rubbish. All of these... Stu- and the problem is, you see, he's been a, an enemy to himself in some respect because he in, is into American football. And it only dawned on me in recent years that one of the things with American football is that you have these people, like they have these Hall of Fame things, and you you can be a big deal for having thrown the ball a distance or done... So it's not... They don't have, like, FA Cups in those sports. You know, it's not all about... Tro- yeah, it is beer, wings, sports. You know, it's it's not all about tro- silverware. Whereas in, in England and other countries should I say, more progressive countries, it is all mm. about trophies. Mm. Whereas you can be, oh, they have the draft system, I won't go into it, it's tedious. But the whole the whole thing is, is so damaged, is that it's almost like you get a medal for participating mm. sort of thing. But in short, I, I'd love Harry Kane to stay, but I think he's 27 and I think he's given um, Enoch far too much of his time. I wish him well. I absolutely wish him well. I don't want him to leave, but I... I completely and utterly wish him well, whatever happens. I am going to go make a cup of coffee and dunk some ginger biscuits. What are you going to do? Um, I'm going to see if I've got any contacts left in my phone and slip some amphetamines into your <laughs> your coffee before we record another one of these. You're even bent over like you want to have a shawl put round oh, you. Oh, no, it's because I've got it's a bad because, back. No, it's nothing to do with your it back. It is, it's a bad back. I'm of an age. I Come said on. to you before we cut, I said, you energised. Oh, yes, yes, I'm all buzzed. <laughs> I'm bu- you, said, you said, I'm buzzing, man. <laughs> no, I said, I'm buzzing, man. Yeah, I think I need one of those staple guns where you can fire staples across a room. That's a really nice thing. Well, just something say. to gently G you up that I couldn't gently necessarily get arrested for. <laughs> Right, go on, say goodbye to everybody. Well, um, there's only have, two people have, listening have at this covered, stage. Have we covered everything? Yeah, that was a lot. We've actually been talking for about eight days. Oh, my word. Did England win? Not yet. In the meantime... Keep it Tottenham! <laughs> well done. You made it through to the end. Do us a favour. Like, rate, review... Subscribe and tell your friends about us because they've not been through enough this last year. Cheers, guys. Keep it Tottenham.